Welcome to the Sunday replay show here at Laurel Park as you get through all the racing action on a sunny Sunday afternoon. Finally, after a cloudy Saturday and off the turf Saturday, back on the turf listed good on Sunday afternoon. The main track is fast under clearing skies throughout the day. It's a windy day, though, and it'll help dry out the turf course. Winds out of the north northwest 15 to 30 miles per hour, 65 degrees at post time, a perfect fall day for racing. Here's a look at the opener. And air off. Collateral damage in Argento getting out for the early advantage. Bowsprit has speed and so does Nicamore and Cherokee Spirit on the outside now going to the front. Cherokee Spirit, the favorite with five A's to go, takes over and opens up. Zips away by some three lengths from collateral damage. Argento in between horses. Nicamore at the rail and Bowsprit has seven to come now. Heading into the far turn and it's Cherokee Spirit pouring on the speed has opened four lengths on the chasing collateral damage. Then Argento and Nicamore and Bo Sprit. Into the turn, three furlongs left to go, and it's Cherokee Spirit and Jose Betancourt. They've got a three-length lead. Collateral damage. Urged on for more run from second, but well cleared now from Bo Sprit, who takes third, then Nicamore and Argento last. Past the quarter pole, it's Cherokee Spirit trying to sustain with that speed. He leads it by two and a half lengths from collateral damage in second. Nicamore, Bo Sprit of the far outside, and Argento just outside that last furlong. Cherokee Cherokee Spirit, Cherokee Spirit, three lengths and still going from collateral damage, then Bo Sprit in third, and Nicomore and Argento, Cherokee Spirit, three to five, and coming home odds on to win by about three from collateral damage, then Bo Sprit, Nicomore, Argento. Time one fourteen. And they are off. Buckingham Lane with a very good break. Photogenic is there, and in between horses is a Deer Dog who's pushing on now, and Deer Dog from in between horses to the early lead. King's House is in the mix, and so is Habanero Gold. Buckingham Lane on the far outside, and Photogenic settles back rail in fifth. Sturbridge Lion is in sixth, and now Tiz Showbiz drops the second last position, and Burning Mandate is the trailer. They are chasing Deer Dog into the far turn. Deer Dog from Buckingham Lane, who's gaming coming back from over on the outside. Hob and Yarrow Gold in between. King's House Rail, then Sturbridge Lion has got four to make up on the outside. Another four or five back in Tiz Showbiz. They're followed by Photogenic and Burning Mandate. Top of the stretch, Deer Dog's the one to catch. Deer Dog now extending the lead to four lengths from Buckingham Lane, Hub and Yarrow Gold. And here's Tiz Showbiz, who's charging gamely. Tiz Showbiz second, now taking aim on Deer Dog. Deer Dog, but here's Tiz Showbiz. Tiz Showbiz goes by that last 16th of a mile and opens up three lengths, wide open scramble for second, burning mandate, and then Buckingham Lane, Buckingham Lane and Deer Dog, it followed by King's House and Sturbridge Lion.
and they're off. Limerette and Lawad's mommy with the first two away from the gate. Harlan's perfection, and yes, it's factual, the favorite of the outside. Princess Aquila is up close, too, and gold medalist is one off the fence, only five from the front. Back to Arendana, second last, and Ambassador Sweet. Into the turn they roll, and leading the way is Harlan's perfection. Harlan's perfection up top. Harlan's perfection from the favorite. Yes, it's factual, second. La Mirette back third position. They're followed by gold medalist in fourth. Le Wad's mommy down inside. They're racing in fifth spot as they journey now with six furlongs left to go. And then Princess Aquila the outside. Now it is still Harlan's perfection showing the way uncontested from yes, it's factual in second. La Mirette is in third. Then Princess Aquila the outside. Fourth gold medalist is fifth. Le Wad's mommy Arandana and Ambassador Sweet. Only seven lengths will cover them. It's been a slow but steady pace up front. Harlan's perfection from Yes, it's factual. La Mirette and gold medalist in fourth. Princess Aquila the outside and Lewad's mommy still saving that ground from the one spot. They're around that far turn with three furlongs left to go. Harlan's perfection from Yes, it's factual. La Mirette gold medalist is next. Princess Aquila fifth to the outside. Then Lewad's mommy Arandana ambassador sweet into the stretch and it's Harlan's perfection trying to pour it on still. Harlan's perfection up top from Yes, it's factual. Actual. La Mirette's taken toward the center of the course, driving in third. Then Princess Aquila, gold medalist, Le Wad's mommy trying to finish off on the inside. Harlan's perfection there. Harlan's perfection still there and still going. Harlan's perfection and Fergal Lynch. Harlan's perfection. Harlan's perfection, gold medalist. Then it's, yes, it's factual. Le Wad's mommy or La Mirette. And they're off. Wild Aspen Flower and Maggie's Freudian Slip also between horses. Hug a tree is up close. But Maggie's Freudian Slip just out sprinting them. Opens up two lengths on Wild Aspen Flower, then Hug a Tree and Kaiser's Delight of the outside. Another three back and unspoken and Veal Sam trailing. The only five and a half off the pace of Maggie's Freudian Slip. Who's against that rail now from that outside gate? Maggie's Freudian Slip leads a length and a half. Kaiser's Delight, Hug a Tree. Wild Aspen Flower suddenly shuffle back last position. Veal Sam has taken and fourth the outside, and they're followed by Unspoke, and now Wild Aspen Flower drops to last. Coming toward the top of the stretch for the extended run into the second wire finish. And it's Maggie's Freudian Slick, and it hug a tree, hugging that inside in second spot. Veal Sam out in the center of the course. They're followed by Kaiser's Delight. Into the stretch for a long and a half left to run. Maggie's Freudian Slip shaken up by Heavy on Toledo. But Veal Sam on the outside under a full head of steam and Forest Boys. Veal Sam. Veal Sam and Maggie's Freudian Slip to the final furlong together, but it's going to be Vilsam at the 16th pole taking over. Vilsam opens up two and a half. Maggie's Freudian slip, hug a tree or Kaiser's delight and unspoken.
They are in the gate. And they're off. Riley's Choice, Classy Day, Max Capital up on the inside, and Sympathetic is fourth. And My Chiz, a charm in between horses, improving just a couple of lengths from the lead. Lady Spot drops to the back of the pack, would head for the shore back there, too. And the outside, next we have tugging along is Aiden's Ragdoll, and Zazana in the back of the pack now, and dropping the last is Lady Spot. So it is Riley's Choice up front a length and a half from Sympathetic in the second spot. The inside is Axe Capital in third. And my Chizza Charm keeping pace now. And next is Aiden's Ragdoll, another two and a half, and Classy Dame and head for the shore. Zazena with one beaten. That's Lady's Spot last. Two and a half furlongs left to go. Riley's Choice is the leader. Sympathetic is next. And the outside, Aiden's Ragdoll. My Chizza Charm under a drive. One off the inside and Axe Capital. They're followed by Classy Damon, head for the shore. Not much of the back of the pack from Zazana, lingering second last, and Lady Spot into the stretch, and Riley's Choice and Victor Carrasco. Riley's Choice is putting it all together for Sagamore. Riley's Choice opening up. Riley's Choice and a good-looking score. Riley's Choice by three. Aiden Dragdahl was second, sympathetic, and then my Chesa Charm and Zuzana. And they're off. Storm net and reach for yield. Here's Court in a Song up outside to take over. Court in a Song is in front with My Giant picking up outside from the second spot. It's all copacetic and Storm net are next as they push on to that first turn. Run Awesome Bill will be hung out out there three wide as they round that first turn. So leading the way is Court in a Song. Court in a Song three quarters in front from My Giant in second. Reach for yield rail in third. Awesome Bill is in fourth. Storm net is in between. Horses in fifth. It's all copacetic is sixth and Modern Tale is followed two lengths back by Bridge of Luck and Kostorfin and last is Dinoformer's Request. Eight or nine lengths will cover the field. Pace is solid out there leading the way is Court in a Song. Court in a Song just trying to settle up front from My Giant by a length and an all sound bill on the outside is third and Reach for Yield is fourth and Storm Net is fifth just four lengths from the pacemakers up ahead and back to Modern Tale in between horses it's all copacetic and Bridge Bridge of Luck will be three deep into the far turn run. And second last is Dynaformer's Request and Kostorfin out kicked at this point. Into the far turn, My Giant's coming. My Giant putting the pressure on Court in a Song. Now they're head to head for the lead. Three back, Awesome Bill and Storm Net. They're followed by Modern Tail trying to punch in between horses. Bridge of Luck, Dynaformer's Request. Reach for Yield, drops back to the inside. It's all copacetic and last is Kostorfin. Into the stretch, My Giant put the right-handed pressure. Awesome Bill trying willingly on the outside now moves to second and third inside is Court in a song. They're followed by Dynaformer's Request, who's getting going late, too late perhaps. Here's the wire. Oh, Dynaformer's Request is surging. Photo, look at that. Dynaformer's Request surged in the last 16th of a mile. My Giant was in the photo. Then it was back to Awesome Bill and either Bridge of Luck in there with the modern tail.
Grail 87 feet. And they are off. Smoking red hot and Kitty's right firing out with Queeb out of the clear outside. It's Sazerac Girl now in the fourth spot. Sippy Cup is in between horses, charging from fifth, and Sweet Curls is next in six. And Marilyn's Love and Grogger is in between horses in tight quarter after uh, breaking last. Uh, Grogger in the back of the pack there, having a bit of trouble. In the meantime, Bold Embrace is on the outside, and three wide into the turn within seven of the pace. Round that turn, and Smoking Red Hot and Queeb going head to head with Sippy. Sippy Cup just two and a half off them and picking them up nicely is Sippy Cup now going to menace for the lead. Kitty's right is racing in fourth. Now is Grogger on the outside trying to get underway from fifth and Bold Embrace in between horses. Sweet Curls is next. They're into the stretch and it's Sippy Cup up front with Smoke and Red Hot and Queeb next. They're followed by Bold Embrace on the charge from fourth and Sweet Curls down inside in fifth. Kitty's right six. Grogger lingers along to the back of the pack an eighth of a mile left to go. Sippy up. Sippy Cup a length and a half in front from Bold Embrace with a 16 to go. It's Sippy Cup. Sippy Cup is 35 to 1. Sippy Cup. Sippy Cup from Bold Embrace in close third. And they're off. Hello, school year out fast. Here's a story to tell up the inside on the chase in American Progress and Negrito. And they're followed by Struth and Blue Moon Ace and Right Squall is the trailer. Six lengths will cover that field at Helle Skier and Fergal Lynch leading the way just at an easy clip. Struth on the outside and Negrito in between horses. Story to tell rail. And they're followed by American Progress, Blue Moon Ace and a little tight quarters there. Only two and a half on the front as they bunch up even more. And Right Squall trailing the field into the far turn. Struth and Blue Moon Ace makes a quick move. Blue Moon Ace now and Struth hook up and they're going past Helle Skier. Negrito and they're followed by American Progress and then Right Squall story to tell has dropped out to last as they reach the top of the stretch. It's Struth up top from Blue Moon Ace and Negrito in between horses trying to chime in a furlong and a half left to go. Struth's up top a length from Negrito second and Blue Moon Ace near the rail in third American Progress and Right Squall. It is Struth, Struth and Negrito chasing Struth home, Struth in front, Louis Garcia, Struth, Negrito, Struth to win it, Struth three quarters for Negrito. And then right Squall or Blue Moon Ace, American Progress.
and air off. Hoist to soup, breaks first to the front and slippery slope with a good solid start too. I'm in from the inside, it'll settle down now third position and they're followed by just call me KL in fourth. Storm Candy is next in fifth as they roll to that first turn run. We're led by Oyster Soup with slippery slope second on the outside and just behind them is just call me KL racing third position. I'm in rail in fourth. I think that happened is Storm Candy in fifth and it's a Gator Boy and take a left alongside of that and they're followed by Goldwing Unhurried, about nine from the front. And back to Pro Daddy, the back of the pack, with enough is enough. A dozen lengths will cover the field, five furlongs left to go, the pace rock solid. Oyster Soup end on the outside, Slippery Slope. Oyster Soup's ahead in front from Slippery Slope. It's still a strong pace. Just call me KL, I'm in is in four. Now Goldwing is let loose in between horses in fifth and take a left is sixth, followed by Pro Daddy, seventh, and Gator Boy is eighth, saving ground, and followed by Enough is Enough, and Storm Candy trailing the field. Slippery Slope getting away. Slippery Slope, three furlongs from the line, opens up a couple of lengths. Just Call Me, KL Oyster Soup, then Gold Wing, sent up on the far outside from fourth, now coming with a run. Another three or four back, and it's Enough is Enough, and Pro Daddy's got a chance to. All of a sudden, it's open, and Slippery Slope is hard driven to stay. Slippery Slope with a three length lead from Oyster Soup, and Enough is Enough on the far outside. Side. Pro Daddy is punching on with a bit of a late kick in between horses. As good a shot as any is Pro Daddy. Pro Daddy gamely. Pro Daddy enough is enough. Pro Daddy enough is enough. And Oyster Soup is hanging on third. It's going to be enough is enough. And Pro Daddy enough is enough from Pro Daddy. Then Oyster Soup, slippery slope, gold wing. Time 146.33. That puts the wraps on the Sunday program here at Laurel Park. We'll be back on track Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Remember, we have a new post time here at Laurel Park. Effective Friday, October 14th, 1230 first race. The gates will open at 11 a.m., 1230 post time, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Coming up, Maryland Million Day. It's Jim McKay, Maryland Million Day, Sunday, October 22nd, with a special 1215 post time. So lots to look forward to in the month of October here at Laurel Park. Join us for the fall meet and thanks for watching the Sunday replay show.